to the yard. Um, it is Friday evening and it is a long weekend today, or this weekend is a long weekend. Um, yes, yeah, it's a bank holiday, so I'm so excited. Um, I'm not actually sure what the weather's meant to be like or anything, I haven't checked any of that out, but um, yeah, I'm just kind of looking forward to sort of fluting around the yard and taking my time. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go up tonight and I was thinking I might kind of do some tricks and do a little bit of um, kind of bareback riding maybe in the lunge. Um, just because I think that'll be good for my hips and just good for my overall fitness, which is definitely declining um, at a steady rate since this whole lockdown began. So yeah, anything that kind of helps that is, is going to be good. Um, I'll try and get some clips of that. Um, Tomorrow, I'm not sure how much riding I will get to do, but I do want to go out for another long hack, either Sunday or Monday. So, yeah, no, it should be it should be a good weekend of just horsey horsiness. So, um, I thought I'd vlog it. You're gonna be good today, Rubes. Do some bareback work. Hmm. I just realized I didn't give you an update on how we got on with the bareback. Um, it went okay. I, I'm so unfit. <laughs> I like I, I didn't realize how much fitness I'd lost until I actually got on bareback. I was like, 
god like my legs like were, my legs were just burning after like two minutes um so like when I went I was kind of thinking oh we'll do a bit of trot we'll do a bit of canter and it's grand we're in the lunging and stuff but I only managed like a few minutes of trot and that was it I was kind of I didn't want to canter because I just felt so because I was just so unbalanced so yeah um I think we'll have to do more of that um because obviously if I'm struggling so much with it it probably just means that I'm very unbalanced and not fit enough to kind of be at the standard that I want to be so yeah so I kind of think I'll probably like set myself a little bareback challenge and try and do a certain amount of minutes every week or something um and try and increase the minutes in trot and eventually get onto canter and stuff um I'm not sure like I'm kind of like was I just like stiff or something tonight because it was really bad <laughs> like I'm like you know but then I so when I think about it it's probably like four months since I last did some bareback work so yeah I guess it just goes um it's a bit depressing but yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow night I'll probably do some arena work tomorrow um I might put on some nice bandages a matchy matchy set play dressage um hopefully I'll get some nice clips of that too I just thought I would end the vlog here um I just kind of wanted to I don't think I actually got to I didn't actually get to film anything yesterday when I decided I was going to do some jumping but basically what happened was we didn't actually end up doing any jumping because we set up the exercise we were going to do which was like a serpentine serpentine with three jumps on the kind of like the center line almost um and then yeah we were going to do that and but we like we decided to warm up oh, going over poles and in the warm-up Ruby was snatching the reins a lot 
um, and unbalancing me and I just decided to not jump with her doing that um, just it was kind of yeah I was kind of I was kind of struggling a bit and then she was struggling and um, I just decided that for the rest so before I try that again and or try to jump again I'm going to work on addressing that issue um, because it is probably something but it is definitely something that I've inadvertently reinforced and now it's become like an annoying behaviour where like she's snatching the reins out of my hands and unbalancing me um, and unseating me. So, yeah, I've obviously accidentally reinforced it. Probably, you know, when we're walking along and she decides she wants a long rein. She does love to stretch. Um, I am 99% sure it's learned. Like I, I know Ruby quite well and I do think it is a learned behaviour. And it is me because I've it's always been my issue that I've been... I'm always too kind of generous with the rain and, and I need to kind of check myself and sort of make myself take up a stronger contact. And with that, I need to kind of let Ruby know that I decide the length of the rain. And I was actually thinking another kind of good thing to do would be to put, because obviously she loves to stretch and that's great. And it's really important for them to stretch, especially when kind of to help their muscles recover after they've done a workout. But the problem is um, she wants to stretch all the time. So I'm actually thinking about putting the stretch, which she already knows how to do, on a cue. Um, so then basically I can be like, okay, when I cue stretch, then you stretch. But all other times we're not stretching. Um, so that's just kind of something to work on. Um, so like I'd still say the session was worthwhile um, because I did like kind of find new things or kind of find sort of gaps in, the, in our training and where we can improve and yeah that's definitely one one area um today was absolutely like horrendous weather wise just horrible like feels like winter like it just it's so cold and wind and rain and just awful um so i went up to the yard and ruby had been out in the fields in the morning time and she had uh decided to cake herself so i had to scrub all that off and then we did some positive reinforcement training using I borrowed Barbara's target so Barbara gets mentioned in all my videos but um yeah I borrowed her target uh she very kindly let me borrow it so um basically I was trying to work on kind of I'm calling it our baby piaf um so it's basically like it, I guess a piaf but not I'm not training it in the technical in the way it's usually trained so I don't know like I, I don't I might be incorrect in saying piaf but um yeah, I just kind of wanted to see if I could sort of shape her head position and kind of make, she already kind of knows to lift her back hind legs and she kind of has a good rhythm sometimes, but I just kind of wanted to make it more of a kind of full body effort. Um, and she did quite well at it, like for her first attempt. So I was happy with that. And yeah, it's just something nice to do to kind of engage them a bit um, when the weather is just absolutely shocking like it was today. So I'm going to log off, or not log off, sign off now and say goodbye. And um yeah, I'm going to go edit this, edit, edit the footage that I have, which I don't think is very good. Again, I had such high, I had such like high ambitions for the weekend to get some nice shots and nice footage and do nice things. But yeah, it just didn't work out that way. But um, look, I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be more, many more vlogs to come. And uh, yeah, I'll chat to you in my next one. Bye.